Hi everyone, um, welcome to my channel. So today I'll be telling you guys how I got my skin tags removed. Well, um, there's so many names out there. People call it so many things, skin tags, molds, warts, and so many other things. But the correct term is um, dermatosis papillosa nigra. Um, it's a skin condition that is hereditary. Um, so basically if somebody in your family has you have more chances of getting of getting it which was my case my grandma has my mom has and my dad happens to have like but they don't have so many um, it's not malignant it's non malignant so you don't need to worry you're not gonna get any cancer any funny things happening on your face um, so you don't really need um, you don't have a need to like get them removed I just removed mine for um, aesthetic purposes so yeah um, so basically I started noticing them or getting them at the age of 20. At first when I got them, like I really didn't, it didn't really bother me because it wasn't even like, yeah, that much. But then like it started getting, becoming more visible and becoming like a lot. Like I started getting on my neck, my face and like even on my chin, like that's just, but anyway. So yeah, so yeah, so last week I decided to go to the dermatologist. So I went, I went to see a dermatology specialist. So I was like, I spoke to him and he's like, you know what, you can't, this is, this is, you know, we have DPN, it's nothing, nothing major, just, you just need to get them removed and whatever. I was like, okay, sure, how about today, now? He was like, okay, sure. Um, so basically what he did, he put numbing cream on all of my skin tags, or DPN, on all my DPN, like my face and neck, and then I had to wait an hour, an hour until like, I guess it becomes effective or anything, I don't know. So then I came back and then I lay down on this thing, and then he was using like a magnifying glass and LED lights and then he was using this thing, I don't know, electric current thing. So as soon as it touched my skin, dude, I, start, I screamed so like I, it, from the scale to 1 to 10, I would say 8.5 because the thing was painful. So imagine getting like your skin, like imagine getting burnt. So imagine like, so burned, you're getting burnt, so imagine you're getting burnt all over your face. But yeah, because that's how it felt. So maybe I'm just being dramatic, but it was painful. So just beware because nobody told me. I just went there. I was like, you know what? I'm going to be beautiful. My skin's going to be clear. And nobody told me. So just be sure. Just be aware that you are going to feel some discomfort, pain. I mean, I guess it depends on your pain um, receptors. I mean, pain. I don't know how you deal with pain, but I'm not, I, you know. But anyway. But yeah. So I had so many of my, I had like over 50 you know, more than 50, so like on my face and my neck. And then it took about like 10 to 15 minutes max. Um, doesn't really take that long. It's just, it doesn't really take that long. So after I was done, he wiped my, my skin with like, I don't know what, pro if it was alcohol or some disinfectant, I don't know. So yeah, so after that, I looked at myself in the mirror and I got scared because like I was full of scabs. I really didn't, I wasn't expecting to like, it became more visible, like, that I had skin tags, like, yeah, I'll, I'll show, like, pictures here so you guys get an idea. So, yeah, so basically the recommendations he gave me is, like, once, you, you know what, just wash your face like you normally do. Um, there really isn't any risk of infection or anything, like, you can just carry on living your normal life. Um, just make sure to use sunscreen. That's the only recommendation he gave me. So I was like, okay, sure. I went out and bought like a, the a sunscreen with the highest SPF, you know, because I was ready, you know, to take care of my skin and have beautiful skin again. Okay, but anyway, um, so yeah, so first day, second day, third day, on the third day, like as I was wiping my face, third, fourth day, like as you wipe your face, you start, like the scabs start like coming out. So I was, you, you would notice like it would come out or if like, even if you exfoliate, you will notice them coming out. So once they come out, they leave like white spots. Yeah, this one here, he, did, he forgot to remove. So I have to go back and get them removed. I mean, get it removed. But yeah, it leaves like white spots. But it with time it will heal and then will just you, your all your skin will be uniform like the same color, so yeah that's pretty much it. I paid I paid for I paid equivalent, um, one hundred and fifty dollars. So yeah, that's how much I paid, and yeah, would I recommend it? I would totally recommend it because like something I've noticed is like as soon as I my my DPN healed. Well, they're still healing, but like after I got re I got it removed, I don't I don't really wear makeup, which is a good thing. Like I don't have to waste money on makeup. I just get my brows done. Like I do my brows in the morning, and then that's it. And like I feel like my confidence. Not that I wasn't my self esteem wasn't good, but like I'm more like you know 
I don't know, I'm just feeling myself because my skin looks great. And so anyway, so thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. So if you guys do have any questions, please leave it down in the comment section below. And yeah, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you. Until then, hasta la vista, baby. <laughs>